Hello everyone, my name is Hevian, and today... Today I'm going to be playing some Sword Art Online RE Hollow Fragment. Play some more of it and showing you how you can get yourself some decent weapons fairly fairly early on in the game. Um, you can pretty, yeah, you can pretty, you can pretty much get them fairly fairly early on in the game. I'll show you exactly how you can do that. So what all you're going to need is a bit of money and Lisbeth. You're going to need a little bit of money and Lisbeth's store unlocked or a blacksmithing shop unlocked and the ability to actually create weapons. So this is what I've actually got at the moment. It didn't really take much effort at all to get weapons like these from Lisbeth. It just takes a little bit of um, RNG, a little bit of randomness, a little bit of waiting for Lisbeth to actually pop out the good stuff. So this is my one-handed sword and this is another one-handed sword that I got from her. I got a katana from her as well. I haven't done any upgrading to these whatsoever, it just popped out as a plus 14 and this one pop popped out as a plus 12. Before I actually get started on it, let me actually show you my katana, I left that inside of um, inside of my storage. Let me get that, actually the fastest way to get the storage is probably this way. So I'll show you exactly the kind of weapons you can get from this. And I'll show you a way you can make a little bit of quick cash, so you can do this a lot easier. But Lizard's weapons, they're really powerful. I don't know why they've given people the opportunity to make such strong weapons so early on in the game. It's a bit odd to me. I started this game off from the beginning just to see what it would be like for a new player starting the game. And it feels like they just, they feel like the progression or the, the struggle that was in the original game is gone. And they're just giving you, you can just have everything right at the beginning. It just, it feels a little bit too easy. Compared to the other game, compared to how it felt when I first started, it feels a little too easy. Um, it's partly because I know what I'm doing already, and it's partly because everything is kind of just thrown at you, and you've got access to pretty much everything. In the on the uh, multiplayer mode, you can access any hollow mission whenever you want, and in this, you can craft whatever weapon you want for like from straight off, pretty much straight off the bat. But here's here's my katana that I got. Take a look at that. Like that that popped out as plus fifteen as well. You can probably make a better one, but. Man, it's like, they just they just threw everything at me. I need to work on some of the rest of my gear, because I still haven't been getting anything, and I still haven't bought any skills yet. I'm still running on, like, nothing. I got this I got this skill, and I got a few of the attack speed skills to increase my weapons um, leveling. Oh, yeah, I, did kept, I kept all my weapons off as well. So there's that. But I need to actually start buying some skills. I need to start working on the skills that I want for this build. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go to Elizabeth Smithy. So they've changed a few things up from the Vita version. You can, the weapon creation is a lot different. In the previous version, I'm pretty sure you could only make like weapons that focused on accuracy or evasion, I think. There's probably a little bit more to that, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the new system they've got in there. And I'll show you exactly what can be done with it. You can still use gems to increase your success rate. You can still enhance your weapons, but forging is slightly different. It will cost 3000 coal to actually make a weapon. You pick which weapon type you want. I, since I've already got some, I, I, I kind of want another rarity 6 one-handed sword. I'll try my luck. I'll try my luck. But you'll get different types. Of, you, all the materials that you can find in the game, you'll generally find inside of here. Or you'll find inside of this list. And it'll tell you which parameter those materials can actually affect. So depend, let's say you've got this one here. This one, this one will increase evasion. And it will increase the chance to add evasion to the weapon that is going to be created. So you can go through your different materials. You can add the materials that will increase a certain chance for a certain parameter that you want on the weapon to be added to the weapon. I really want to find a way to... I really want to find the materials that increase my skill charge time. That's what I want to look for the most. So I'm going to see if I can go out there and I can find loads of that material. But I've been, I haven't really been using any materials and I've still got good weapons. So the weapons that I, that I found that I showed you earlier, I didn't use any materials from them. I just like create the weapon and you'll see that you'll have rarity range on the bottom of this but underneath the additional effects list you have rarity range it says two to six if you add more materials it will give you a higher chance of getting rarer weapons so let's say i was to add i was to add like let me go down to to this carmine oils let me just add loads of ores and it'll tell you that the rarity range will probably go from like three to six so it'll give me a it'll, it'll give me a higher chance to get something good with the more materials you give. All right, let me just dump all of them in. I'm not going to use it, but there we go. It's gone to three to six. And that gives me a 27% chance for strength to be added as to, for strength to be added to the weapon. But I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to try my luck and then just go, go raw. I'm going to go raw with no additional things and see what it gives me. 
because that's just what I've been doing and I've been getting good weapons from it. You don't actually have to spend any materials. I'd say just collect all your materials and save them up until you actually have enough materials to make the weapon you want. Until then, don't waste your materials by just spending them on anything. Just wait until... Just, just try your luck. And I'll show you how you can get some easy money as well so you can just keep doing this to try your luck and see if you can get a good weapon. So let's go ahead, push triangle, forge your weapon. Let's see what she gives me. It's all going to be randomized, so let's see what I actually get. The minus 50 accuracy is a, is a bit of a hit on that weapon, but the power kind of out outweighs it. And I can find other ways to actually get good accuracy, like items. Alright, so that one's a rarity 4 one. Kind of tempted to do another one. Don't want to enhance it. Let's forge a, let's forge a different weapon type. Kind of curious, what, what don't I have yet? So I've made myself a good one-handed sword. I've made myself a good dagger that I gave to Philia. I gave her a Rarity 6 dagger that has health regen on it. So that's that's her set. She doesn't need another weapon. So her health is going to be regenerating, which is nice. But I'm I'm kind of looking at spears. Let's see what let's see what they give me as a spear. I'm not going to use any materials, and let's just see what they give me. There's probably other things that people have figured out about this that will probably help people out. But if you have figured out anything else about it, as usual, just put it in the comments. See if it helps anyone else out. Rarity 3. Don't use gems, but you'll see that you're probably thinking, man, you're, you're wasting money. Why don't you spend your materials? Don't worry, I'll show you how you can get some quick money. Don't worry. All I need to do to get some quick money is all I need to do is save 8 mil. It's, it's pretty much a trade-off. You save 8 mil or you spend 8 mil to make 50 mil. It's a nice trade-off. So all I need to do is make sure that I've got 8 million coal left to buff by the end of this, and then I'll be able to make some, some pretty juicy cash. It's a bit, it's a, I guess it's a bit, it's a bit repetitive to actually make the money, but it'll, you'll get enough, you'll get, you'll get it in about 15 minutes. Right, Rarity 5 Spear. Not bad. Let's see what it is. Um, strength 135. Attack 35. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's a good it's a good spear to have as like a starting spear. What I should do is just make a make a weapon. Just try and make a rarity five or six weapon of every type, just so I have one weapon to fall back on if I need to use them. So so far I've got a rarity six dagger, I've got a rarity six one-handed sword, I've got a rarity five katana, and a rarity five spear. So I kinda wanna I wanna make a two-handed sword. Let's see what a two-handed sword is gonna pop out like. Give me a rarity five. Elizabeth, I believe in you. I believe in you. In the Vita version of the game, I had Yuki around with me, but in this version of the game, I decided I'm going to keep Philia around with me. All right, that was a rarity four. But I'm going to show you exactly how you can make a bit of money. There may be other ways to make money, but this one is the one that I just found like quick and easiest. But I've kept Philia around for me for this specific reason. You can open the treasure chests that you find around in the hollow area, like that are next to bosses, without actually um, fighting the bosses. You can open them. The one, you know, the ones that are usually guarded by bosses. And it says you can't open this treasure chest. It's guarded by like a, a, a secret power or something like that, or a mysterious power. You can actually open them as long as you got Philia with you. In the, when I first started the game, I was wondering why I could open certain treasure chests. This was like right at the beginning. I thought I thought that you just could open them without the bosses, without killing the bosses. But it just turns out you need to have Philia with you. But let's return to the title and go to multiplayer. Get that money. But what I'm going to need to do is store these bits of a, store any of the weapons that I have at the moment, so I don't get so I don't get confused and sell some. Random ones by accident. Start multiplayer, just go into solo. You don't need to worry about whatever mission it is. Just pick anything. You don't need to worry about that. But this, this is what my weapons look like. These ones are rarity 6. The black ones are rarity 6. The other ones are rarity 5. And that is Philia's rarity 6 dagger. I'm, I'm going to actually speak to her and she show you what it looks like. Um, character information. A good thing to do is actually party with Philia before you go into multiplayer, or with this method, you're going to have to keep inviting her back to the party and it'll be get pretty annoying. Alright, so that's a dagger at the moment. It's, uh, it's pretty nice, right? It's it's okay. It's decent. It's decent. I mean, for something that just I just cooked up in no time whatsoever. 
Now, right, so here's what you need to do. First off, just store your weapons so you don't get com don't get them confused. Store anything extra. Even if you want to sell some of them later on, just just store what you got. Switch. Whoops. Man, I hate this. Why can't I store this weapon? It's so annoying. I want to just get rid of it. I'm pretty sure I can sell it, but or I can toss it away, but I just don't want it in my inventory. Why can't I store it? Alright, so what you need to do is buy some Veil Potions. Buy ten of them. Just get them out of the way. And then let's go, Philia. It's going to be a little bit repetitive, but you'll make roughly 40... 45 to 50 million coal in the space of about 10-15 minutes. It depends how quick you are. And it depends whether or not you make mistakes or not. Alright, so you go to the... I didn't even show you which area it was, but you go to... No, that is implements. So you go to this area on the map. The area that you fight the Hollow Reaper. So Hunting Ground of the Judged. You head over there. And then you teleport. You turn around and you just teleport. And then as soon as you get in there, you want to use a Veil, a veil Potion. That will conceal both of you. Open the door. This just saves This just saves time because you don't have to actually fight the enemies. And you just walk around opening the treasure chests. Some of these weapons are going to be are going to sell for roughly around... At minimum, it will sell for like 900, 900k, and then at the maximum I've seen so far is probably about um, 2 million, 2.5 million. So you can make yourself some good money from just spending 800k on a one one potion. So roughly, roughly 800k for a Veil potion is going to translate to about, probably about 5 mil in the end. So yeah, you're making profit. And this is what you do, you just grab four treasure chests. That is it. Four treasure chests. And you leave. But multiplayer mode, it, it saves your progress. They probably, there might be a shorter way to actually um, get the treasure chest to reset. But what I've found is I need to exit multiplayer completely and, and re-enter it. Because mo the multiplayer mode, like, it saves your progress while you're in there. While you're in the lobby. So you just head back, you go back to the administration area. Teleport. Go back to the communications room. I'm telling you, it's going to be repetitive, but it's just a quick way to get good weapons. Or at least it's, it's a quick way to get good weapons before you can start doing the, the more advanced stuff in the game. Hopefully there's going to be better weapons later on in the game, because I'd, it would suck if the weapons that I can make now from Elizabeth, like right at the beginning of the game, are better than the stuff you can get later on. It'll be dumb. It'll be dumb. Alright. Jump back into multiplayer. And you do it again. Just head straight back to the same place. Repeat it. Rinse and repeat. Until you've wasted all 10 Veil Potions. I usually... I don't know if it's these... I don't know if it's the same or different in this game. But in the Vita game, you can sell stuff to Agil for more money. So I generally just go back to Agil and I'll sell all my items at him. I'll sell all my items to him. All my weapons. And I get a decent chunk of cash from it. I don't sell it to the NPCs that are in multiplayer mode. I just sell it to Agil. Because in the Vita version, he gave you more money for it. But I don't know how it is in this version of the game. Veil Potion. Open the door. Open both treasure chests here. Like, this boss is level 170-something. Yeah, 174. But, you, but if you're using the Veil Potion, you can pretty much do this at any level you want. You can either kill the boss if you want, but not me. Not me. Not doing that. But hopefully this will be something that you can jump into multiplayer and do. And it's not going to be something that you need to progress through the hollow area before you can actually access. So, I mean, it's worth trying it. It's worth trying it to see if you can actually do this. Before you've completed the hollow area. Because I've already completed the hollow area. So maybe that's why some of the doors are already unlocked. But just try it for yourself and see if you can do it. No matter what happens. And if you can't do it until you've um, actually progressed in the hollow area. Let me know. Let me know if you need to have reached this point in the in the storyline. Before you could actually do this. But I've already completed it. So I don't know for sure. I'll need to actually start again from the beginning. To actually see if it's something you can do right at the beginning. But there you go. I'm going to teleport back. I've only done this twice, but I'll sell, I'll sell the items that I've got so far. 
and see how much money I've made. Or I just all I do actually all I do is I'll just show you. I've got so far I've got about eight items now or eight weapons that I can sell, but I'll show you the values of them. And then you'll know how much they're actually worth. Aggie will probably give you a little bit more, but I'll show you. So you got yeah, Aggie will give you more. He gives you more. Because the Aggie was given like for these ones it was given like nine hundred coal. Nine hundred K. So basically, these are the weapons. These are the weapons that you that I found. You got ones for one thousand, one one point two mil, others for one mil, others for nine hundred, eight hundred k. If you sell those to Agro, you get a bit of cash. But just imagine doing that ten times and the amount of money you'll make. You'll make roughly around fifty million. Just do that. Head back to Leaf, the Leafa. Head back to Lisbeth. Craft some weapons. Hopefully, you'll get a rarity five or six. Just aim for the rare, rarity five or six ones. Save your materials until. You actually get enough materials to make it worthwhile for, to boost a certain stat parameter. I wouldn't bother wasting them all just at the moment when you can just do this easily and get a bit of quick cash. Just to craft ones and just hope you get lucky. Give it a try. See what it's going to be like. You're, you're bound to, with the 50 million, you're bound to get at least one, not even, you're bound to get quite a few rarity fives and maybe one rarity six. Just give it a try. But if I find some extra stuff new, I will um, show you what that's all about. I need to finish my implements because a few people are still saying you don't understand it. Let me finish off. I've only got a few more. Let me finish off this one. I've got like three more. That one. Three more basic ones. And where is it? Yeah, I got, I got this one as well. When I've done those, then I can actually show you all of the different ones and then probably give you an idea of where you can go to actually do them. But until I make that video... I will see you all later. Go make some weapons.